just uh, insane work of Joe Greer and the insane work of street photography as a medium. Um, so today I woke up and I went on Instagram, which is something I rarely do. I'm rarely consuming because I, I don't like consuming a lot. So um, one of the people I like consuming their content is Joe Greer. And um, he made a post today. He, he took a photograph. I'm actually going to link it in the description. Um, I think I could do that in the description of these videos. And he posted this image and he was trying to select from it well that's not how it started actually it started from an image that he took that there's this trend going on long story short there's this trend going on that um somebody posts a photo or something like that that like that describes what people ask and he posted this really awesome photo of um this person holding a mirror and that image was so incredible to me like it was so insane to me because um that it opened my mind to the art of street photography and how insanely amazing joe truly is and how legendary he is this image to me is so insane and i'm i'm not into street photography there could possibly be other photographers i know there's a guy named arnold who's really 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 insane he gives me the same not necessarily vibe as joe but he gives me this understanding of art i don't know how to explain it guys like i feel art i feel images i feel artistry and that sort of gets enhanced even more when i dig deeper into photography and everything that is film photography related and the more i start looking at what is timeless and what people consider timeless and what timeless work looks like and it's just it's just insane how he was so able to capture this moment so perfectly without a lot of time to think and to process and to slow down and do certain things that a photographer like me that's a portrait photographer would normally do and i feel like that is such a huge key because you as photographers we do things and we don't really realize how evolved we are as people like really truly think about street photography these are all moments in life that will never happen again like every second every moment every single breath will never happen again and then here comes a guy like joe greer he's able to capture that moment and share it with us but do it in a way that has style taste perfect exposure composition artistry it's just so insane to me like it's it's insane i i, I highly suggest um when you guys are listening to this just check out that photo i'm gonna i'm gonna actually put in a, a link of the photo of all the photos i'm gonna talk about really um a link of the photo as well as a link to the um link to his whole page and yeah um i literally just got up guys out of my bed i, I felt very strong about this you probably might have seen the instagram post um yeah i literally just got up i have been taking a break but i want these podcasts to be organic and for me they're actually a way to document a point in my life actually way more than youtube does i feel like this is the most effective way because i'm not always you know feeling very deep about things like not all the time i feel deep this deep about somebody's work and 
that is such a dangerous thing as well which is something hopefully i will get to touch on here how how important it is to look at good work it is so important and that's what's gonna separate you right from a lot of photographers being able to see that good work and it's it's absolutely insane to me how joe is legitimately legendary while also being alive like yes like i know you might think this is steep this is whatever but me as an artist me as shingi i define what is timeless you know not this isn't that's not based on status that's not based on anything but me as an artist you the listener as an artist you determine what is timeless like you are the one that will say wow this is timeless and i truly stand by this joe's work is timeless in my world it's like I'm gonna give you guys a second image. I'm gonna put it down here. This is the image I actually posted on the Instagram. It really shows how much taste he has. Like, Joel is not just an artist. Like, he just is not a photographer, I mean. He's not just a photographer, he's an artist. Like, he creates art and you see that through everything that he does the way he is and i am on the exact same journey so like i see those things and how he is and i feel how he is like it's very weird like i understand him like i understand the life he might choose for himself because that's sort of on the same way like I don't know how to explain it. A lot of these things might not make sense because I feel like you sort of have to try to become an artist and be deeper than just a photographer and see things in a different way for you to visually see it or feel it or acknowledge what is great. You know, like if you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't things are truly that simple so the more i'm starting to learn about photography and looking at elsa dorfman and um tim tim walker and all these insane photographers you really see what makes their work timeless like elsa dorfman she created timeless work that you could look at and be like this is garbage like this is trash in our day and age but it's truly not she documented and made it be tasteful and have substance it's insane it's not looking at a picture that you know is amazing that is visually appealing that has manipulation just like portraiture like I can manipulate colors to convey a certain way or make you feel a certain way but it's not that like it's I don't know how to explain it it's tasteful like that is so important one of the people that inspire me a lot that told me one thing that I truly live by now that there's multiple artists out there there's artists that create because they want to create and there's artists that are not necessarily that like there's there's two artists long story short there's two artists and one artist can be good and the other one can be tasteful joe's work is tasteful i hope you guys cannot hear my stomach rumbling because it is rumbling like crazy um <laughs> if i do i'm still gonna leave it in there because again like i want these things to be organic but um I literally just got up to just make this and that's it. I haven't been on my computer for like three days. Um, it's insane, but um, Joe's work has taste, it has composition, it has artistry. He's able to document things. He's able to document anything and have it be artistically pleasing. 
that is rare. That is artistic geniusness, and that's what I call him in an art, an art, a, phot a photography genius, a photographic genius. Like, it, it's the feel I get off of his work is that it's not just a photo; it's an artistic photo. Joe photographs. I think Maddie's her name. I don't know her personally or have interest in knowing her, but I do see her. I know that's his girlfriend and all that stuff, but he's able to document her in an artistic way. She's very pretty. She's beautiful, all those things, but that is not it for an image. It doesn't stop there. He has this one subject Maddie, I don't want, I'm speaking about this because I feel very deep about it. He photographs Maddie in a way that, like, I know photographing the same person, it doesn't get boring, it becomes challenging. But I feel like a lot of us artists, we, we make excuses for our lack of creativity by saying, oh, I don't want to photograph the same model. But he documents his whole life guys like go look at his photos like he will take a photo of maddie the photo i'm talking about right now of maddie on a window and make it be tasteful it makes you wonder what was said what what's happening what is she looking at what's going on it has color it has composition proper exposure but yet it's a documentary work of what is normal, how. That is important. He's an artist, like he's a true artist, something I want to be. It has taste, it has taste. If you look at his images, that's what separates him from Arnold. That's what separates him from anybody. I feel very strong about Arnold as well. And guys, I have no interest in street photography. Um, and I'm not just saying Joe is a street photographer only. He's a portrait photographer, right? He does those two things, but I'm heavily affected by both mediums, which is very rare. And it's insane to me. like. That's what separates him. That's what separates his street photography. It has taste. It's not only about style, guys. It's not only about having a editing style or anything. It's about the tastefulness of composition, the tastefulness of colors. It's insane. Like It's insane. And to those that understand me or understand what I'm talking about, and are able to sort of see the images and resonate. I highly suggest you look at these images while I'm talking about this as well. I don't know if I said that before, but again, I don't review these things. It's it's insane to me. It's absolutely insane. And you guys need to go check him out. Follow his journey because he's not only a photographer, guys. Try to see how he is, like the way he carries himself, the way he talks about the art. Go watch his video and see the way he feels about art. His respect for photography. He understands it because he's using photography for what it is artistically and normally, if that's even a thing. And that's insane. That is true artistry. Um, I don't really feel a lot about people like this. Like, I don't feel that great. Like, the more I learn about photography, the more I understand how it's important to have proper influences and to see what great work is. And his work is definitely up there. And it's up there with the legends because it's not just good images. He does it very, very well and he documents his life in such a way that is different so um yeah if he listens to this then awesome but 
Um, if he doesn't, awesome as well. I just want this to be in the world. And the tr I know within myself that the true artists will see this and they will see value in what I'm saying. And this could potentially be that one missing piece to their growth. Having the understanding of somebody's work and seeing how what makes them different and how they execute like true learning and i think they are going to understand some i'm not even gonna understand but i don't care i wish more would understand but i understand that more wouldn't won't but with that being said um yeah go check out joel's work uh, hopefully I'll do this on other photographers that I get affected by um, when I do get affected by them. I hope so because, like I said, there's not a lot of people that affect me a lot. Like, I appreciate good work, but not every piece of work to me is timeless or legendary or great, that great, you know? So, um yeah i think these are very necessary because they would affect me and i'll just assume they'll affect you guys as well so with that being said um i'm just so grateful guys that i have the ability to even communicate with them i just recently discovered his work i haven't been a huge fan of his work for a long time i'd be lying if i said i was and I'm just so glad that you guys made it possible for me to even be in communication with them, to even have a conversation with them, because I do talk to him from time to time, just casually. And it's, I'm just so grateful, man. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Um, I don't, I don't think that I know him because of this. I feel like our paths were gonna cross regardless. I was gonna see it and I was gonna feel this way about it. You know, um, so yeah, um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm grateful. Uh, I think there's another photographer I really wanna touch on that I feel is similar to Joe in terms of how they make me feel. Uh, this guy named Photo by Dre he's so amazing but i'm going to talk about him another time i want to feel the way i feel about joel's work right now when i talk about him i don't want to sit down and jot notes about what i want to say or just be like i want to talk about this and not feel that so <clears throat> when he posts an image that will um, affect me heavily do expect me to be making a podcast whatever this is <laughs> i call it whatever this is so um yeah thank you for listening uh this is just me being weird being emotional as fuck and yeah happy holidays merry christmas it's uh currently 2020 12 23 um at 1 p.m and yeah, I think I want to do that at the end so that when my kids go and hear it or whoever listens to this, they sort of know, especially me, it's primarily for me, if I'm being honest, that I want to remember this. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. See ya.